Hi Space Cadets, Astro Chris here. Thank you for tuning in to another video. This is going to be an energy check-in for the month of April and what you guys need to know. How is this eclipse season going to be affecting you? This is going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates for your situation. If you're new to the channel, hello. I am a psychic medium intuitive tarot reader. I use the tarot cards and oracle cards to pull back the layers of energy to see what messages that I can pull from the ethers for those who choose to click on this video. Um, if you were drawn in by the title, then this might be a message for you. But as I stated, take what resonates, leave what does not. And yeah, I think that's my typical spiel. Anyways, hello, hi, welcome back. If you've been watching me for a while, thank you for being here. We are going to start this reading off with an oracle deck draw. Instead of doing it the way I normally do it, when I pull from tarot and then clarify and then do oracles last. So we're gonna switch it up. So we're gonna be using the Mystical Martian Oracle deck here first. Uh, bottom deck energy in the pre-shuffle. All the decks to my right have been pre-shuffled. I like to look at the pre-shuffle. Um, bottom deck energy because it does tell us an overarching theme of the message that is going to come out. So here in the bottom deck energy of the Mystical Martian Oracle deck, we have the Galactic Federation. It says collaboration, meetings, community. There's a lot of people in one room here. So people could be gathering to talk about you, collective. I gotta figure out where's the camera. I'm used to going over here, but I'll go over here now. <laughs> Um, there could be a lot of people talking about you. There could be people in the community gathering for the purpose of something involving you. You could or could not be aware of this. We're going to pull and see what that energy is about. So we got meetings, collaboration, the Galactic Federation. If you guys believe in aliens, uh, the Galactic Federation is primarily uh, a council, a like diplomatic council of representatives from different star systems and galaxies. And they've definitely been monitoring Earth, if that's what you believe in. You could take the realm of spirituality into a thousand different areas, so just do your research. Take it with a grain of salt. If you don't believe in aliens, it's fine. But I think that it's interesting. It said 22 and Galactic Federation. But anytime there's significant events happening, you see the conspiracies uptick a notch. <clears throat> okay. The Evens. So this deck is all about different alien species. If you do follow the mythology and the lore of alien species, the Evens are said to be the alien race that is the one that comes to Earth and uh, does DNA manipulation on the human species. So we have the intuitive meaning of this card is mystery and reading between the lines or intuition. So there could be a situation in your life collective that is unknown. Something, it's like you can feel it, but you don't quite know what it is that you're picking up. There's something that needs to be uncovered. I get lots of moon energy here. Reptilians, predator, survival, tyrannical. Denial, projecting, and shame. Yeah. Okay, so you guys could definitely, again, with the moon symbology here. Look, we've got the moon here, and then the sun. And then again, with the moon over here. <clears throat> this, uh... I feel like somebody could be doing some type of energetic manipulation to put you in your shadow self collective. They want you to be in this energy of like lack and shame, self doubt, a lack mentality, uh, feeling 
feeling inadequate, insecure, those are, are energies that could have been projected towards you that could have started to affect you recently, maybe in very subtle ways. Or it could be that you're handling everything that's being thrown at you fine, but it's making you stop and go, what is going on? Because maybe it's out of character for you to be experiencing so many setbacks. And they may not, here's the thing, they may not be big things. It just might be like a lot of little stuff happening at one time that is out of character for your general routine. Maybe you're a stable person, you are emotionally stable, you know how to handle when things get hard, you push through. But in this situation, it's like you're always finding yourself in hard situations that you have to push through. And so now it's kind of like, you're like, hmm, if things were going so good for a while, and now this is what's happening, and I'm still doing the same thing and handling life in the same way, but it just keeps coming, then there's got to be something behind the scenes in the energy that is, that you're feeling. You're feeling somebody projecting on you. So let's pull tarot. We're going to pull one card for each of these oracles here. We'll see how it ties into the message, and then we'll clarify the message with the uh, Rider weight here. So this is the Housewives Tarot deck, bottom deck energy in the pre-shuffle. We have the Six of Wands. <clears throat> okay, the message has flipped in tone, because what I'm getting from this, the Six of Wands is like public recognition, you're being honored for something, you're receiving accolades or awards or... Um, you're known for something that makes you look good, essentially. And so maybe this person has been projecting these things at you for a really long time and you just keep knocking them out of the park, one right after the other. You're tired. <laughs> Let's be real. You're tired, but you're just knocking them out of the park. So... Let's see. And it's almost like everybody's watching you in the process. And it's like, how's, how are they going to do it? How's it going to happen? Oh, let's see how they do with this. You know, it's like you got eyes on you. And that's what that community and that meeting is about. It's about people getting together to be like, did it work? Did what you do work? All right, well, what did you do? Okay, well, did you see it work? What did you see happen? Okay, well, what about you? And it's like everybody's reporting in and there's not any signs that anything is working. <laughs> and... I don't know. Somebody might be starting to give up. We'll see. But I feel like, ugh, it's just gross energy. I don't know. Somebody thinks they, they're they like hot shit. And so they're like pulling every tactic out of the book and like they're running out of tactics now because the, their target is so good at what they do. Either they're good at blocking energy or returning it or healing it or transmuting it or alchemizing it and whatever they do doesn't really affect them in a major way. It just kind of disrupts their routine for a while. Maybe they don't sleep good for a couple nights in a row, but after that, it's like, boom, I'm right back in it. I'm still doing my shit. I'm still doing a really good job. I'm still getting my accolades. I'm still getting up and going my, going to work every day. I'm still making money. I got my hustles. I got my hobbies. I'm putting passion into my work. It's like, whatever it is that you do, that this group is doing, nothing is getting through to the target. Okay, let's see. What is this mystery reading between the lines intuition about? The energy that the collective could be feeling. These are a lot of cards. I only wanted to draw one, but let's let's pay attention to what they are. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, come at me, bro. It's like it's like this come at me, bro kind of energy. Can we see this okay? Queen of Wands. Yeah, she's like, she's like Give it your best shot. <laughs> yes. Uh, look at this. Someone has been busy. It's like they keep to themselves. They isolate. And then they they work hard at stuffing another pin in your kitchen. Ooh, guys, I'm getting voodoo doll vibes on this one. Ugh. Ugh. Like cockroach energy. <laughs> um... With this pin cushion here, it's like somebody is like, one by one, pin cushion. Let's go see if it worked. Oh, I don't think it worked. Okay, another pin cushion. Let's go see if it worked. 
still not working. What is going on? Another pin cushion still didn't work. And it's just like one right after the another. Next thing you know, you're not going to have any more space for no pin cushions. You don't need to make another voodoo doll. You done messed up the first one trying to do what you were going to do. Um, so yeah, we're, we're taking this back and you've got the queen of wands here with her little septum of rain and she's just sitting there like, what, what's next? What you got? What you got? <laughs> I think that's funny. I'm going to leave this here. I feel like the queen of wands goes really closely with that because the queen of wands is somebody who is spiritually intuitive and they know they they know how to read energy feel energy discern energy and use it to their advantage when when they're in the upright now if this was a queen of wands type of situation where they were in the reverse that is someone who dabbles in negative spell work This Queen of Wands came out upright. And I feel like she knows what's going on. She's been waiting for it, preparing for it, um, using the energy that's happening right now to her advantage to protect herself. And I feel like this group or this community is curious as to how she's doing it. Okay, this Reptilian's Predator. What is this Predator energy about? Eight of Cups, someone you could have walked away from. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I just had a fly almost go into my mouth. Um, this Eight of Cups card, this is somebody you walked away from. It's like you were... It was like a lot of toil and labor for you, Collective, to be involved in the situation that you may have been involved in that probably involved someone in your past, but I feel like now this is an, this is an, enter, this is an individual who's retaliating because either you walked away from a situation, you removed yourself from a situation, or you ghosted, and this person's feeling abandoned now, and they're seeing you, Collective, as a blessing in their life. And they definitely want that back in. But it's like they're projecting all this crap at you and drawing in other people and using a whole community to do all of these things to you in the effort of thinking you're going to be like coming running back because your life is just going to be in such a state of shit. You need somebody to be your hero. And uh, they're really hoping that it's them. And if it's not, they might just kill you. <laughs> it's like, you know, stalker, serial killer murderous rage type of energy Scorpio energy is what we're going to call it shadow self denial projecting shame what is the nature of this projecting what is the nature of this projecting okay another situation where we have a lot of cards coming out again I'm not going to take them but we are going to look and see what's going on here okay so the four of wands was in reverse here we're going to pay close attention to that Again, with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, okay. It's like this person sees you're actually still in in high honor. You're still highly favored by a people, even though they want you to be seen as somebody who is unstable, can't hold down a job, who's not very smart, not good with their money. Like, they want you to be looked at as something when you really are the complete opposite collective. Um that's where the projecting is coming from. I do sense a little bit of jealousy here. But it's like subconscious jealousy. It's like this person could never admit that. But that's the truth. And maybe at one point they wanted a solid foundation with you. And potentially to be connected to you in a, like a permanent way. And then it's possible that they had the opportunity to do that and then they just went a completely different direction and now they've lost the opportunity because you've out, you're out here, you're healing, you're literally looked at as an angel, an innocent person, uh, someone who's stable on top of everything, good with their money, like the, the opposite of everything they wanted to paint you as is the opposite of who you are. When I looked up at the clock, I just saw 1444. 
Mark that down for numerology. Yeah, in this Knight of Wands energy, it's like they're so heartbroken that you decided to walk away collective that now they got to fill that void somewhere, but God forbid they take accountability for potentially being the reason you decided to walk away. It's like, they'll do anything but that. <laughs> it's just too much at that point. They've never learned how to do that. There's a point, there's things within this person that makes them operate out of their shadow self because they refuse to heal certain things. And it's possible that because they're operating out of their shadow self, they're putting themselves into situations that further orchestrate bringing them even deeper into their shadow self. And so it's almost like they're digging a deeper hole for themselves. And at some point, the depth is going to get too far. They can't even come out of it. They can't get themselves out of it. You're just going to have to live like that for the rest of your life. And then start new in the next one because clearly you did not learn what you were supposed to learn in this one what's the shadow self projecting shame denial ten of wands yeah this person is feeling overwhelmed now they're like oh shit they realize how deep the hole's gotten and now they're finding themselves juggling all these things that are backfiring on them with every time that they approach this situation in a very negative way because this person sends it back it's like this they don't the person you're victimizing here if you are the one watching this video um hi hello the person you're victimizing here they they have a lot to do in their life they live a very busy life it's not going to be for everybody some of you you're just like you're having to start over um but i'm picking up on a storyline where someone has a lot to juggle in their daily life but they know how to juggle it properly in a way where like their time management is excellent their ability to compartmentalize priorities is freaking awesome it's like if this person had the time they could run the world <laughs> in a very very good way that would change it positively um but we live in a system where we are purposely hindered from being able to evolve and expand beyond the daily survival. Um, so this reading could even be flipped to be about <laughs> the systemic issues that are happening in society right now, where we work so hard to just make a living and before you know it, we're at retirement age, but our bodies and our minds and our spirits are so worn down. Next thing you know, you're on your deathbed and you never really lived your life. You were just a slave to the dollar. And it depresses us when you stop to think about it. And not everybody has the privilege to work and become the owner of 500 different billion companies because you have just that much money to throw around. Um, Survival is what keeps you stuck in stagnancy to where we don't grow, we don't evolve. Think about how many people are living paycheck to paycheck and every single situation, like, like 95, <laughs> that's pretty, that's probably dramatic, okay? Let's, let's, let's dial it back. Maybe 60% of Americans are one flat tire away from homelessness. And that's, that's like a crisis. We're in a crisis. And think about it, if you're too busy, you're like, oh shit, I'm about to lose my house, I gotta figure out where to live, what if I have to live out of my car? It's like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna find a place in enough time, how much is a hotel? It's like you're thinking about all of these different things to just keep your survival where you need it to be so you're stable enough and other things don't tip past their tipping point and get out of control. Before you know it, you haven't meditated in a year. And they want that to happen. That's what they want to do. All this stuff coming out in the public about like P. Diddy and like the music industry. Like we've known for a really long time that it was all bullshit. Okay, subliminal messaging is a real thing. And the entertainment industry is not just to entertain you. It's to distract you. 
and to keep you addicted to consumption in alternate forms. So that way when you come home at night, you're not out here hustling and making all this money so you can go and buy an estate for your entire family and everybody's taken care of and pay off your debt. No, no, no. You're stuck watching TV because you got to get your programs in. And you fall asleep in the chair. <laughs> like maybe when you're 80, that's cool. But that's what a lot of people end up doing because it's like I have all this energy and I'm having to disperse this energy into 500,000 different areas while other people are pulling on that energy in 500,000 different ways. I got this bill due, that bill due, my car note, I got to go to work. If I'm going to call out, I got to call out on a day where we have enough people to staff us. I got to worry about my kid just got sick. They're going to stay home from school. I'm going to have to take two days off from work. Like you've got all these things that your brain is jumbling around where it, it, it does not allow you to focus. And that is also what occultists will harness and use to keep you stuck and in stagnancy to where you cannot ward the, it off. Then it becomes a part of you. And then, and then it weighs you down so much where you're drowning underneath it. Before you know it, time has sped up and you have not gotten anything of value out of your life. And you're tired. And you just want to lay down in a hole and die. <laughs> That's pretty dramatic, but I mean, it's the truth. So many people feel that way. We're all getting tired. I'm tired of a 40 hour work week. Like we need to change this. If you don't approve my time off so I can like go to the doctor and shit, why am I working the same hours as every other facility? There's no way I can get anything done for my personal life. So we need to change that. I'd probably be more productive too, honestly. Whoever created the 40 hour work week needs to just. <sighs> if I had a time machine, that's what I would do. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, bottom deck energy in the pre shuffle of the regular Rider Weight Tarot deck. We're going to use these to clarify the situations that are out here, and then I will leave you alone. Thank you if you watched this far. I appreciate your time and energy. If you like this message, please like and subscribe. Comment down below what you thought. Um, we are almost done. So let's clarify the Queen of Wands. But first, the bottom deck energy, we have the Seven of Wands. This is somebody who is on guard. They are defending themselves. They are standing their ground. This is definitely this Queen of Wands energy. She knows what's been going on. She feels it. And she's been either isolating herself so she can feel it more uh, accurately and then also solve the problems swiftly. Or she has owned her craft so much in such a short time to a point where she's fortified herself with her own shield. And so that's probably why nothing is touching this Queen of Wands. And she's just like, come at me, bro. Give me a best shot. What else about this Queen of Wands? We have the Hanged Man here. It, it fell in reverse, so we're going to read it that way. The Hanged Man in Reverse, this is like, this is like no longer being stuck, uh, people seeing you in a new way, like a new perspective from the community, uh, enlightenment, it's like she figured it out, <laughs> she figured it out. What else? What else? Yeah, somebody, somebody she walked away from decided to epically betray her. Because remember we saw the Ten of Swords and the, the uh, Housewives Tarot, the pincushion? This has been coming out a lot this reading. So there was an, a major betrayal that this person did. And you know, it a, a betrayal doesn't always just have to be public humiliation or anything like that a betrayal could literally be this person getting their heart broken because someone ignored them and it's like now this person's ignoring the other person they decided to move on with their life and heal they can't freaking deal with it they can't take it how dare you walk away how dare you heal you have to come back here and deal with my shit put up with it because i put you on the back burner 
So how dare you remove yourself from that spot? Yep. Competition, a, def a sense of defeat. Lovers. So somebody who you could have been in a relationship with or you were both romantically interested in each other even if it was never a relationship. What is the Eight of Cups? Ace of Cups. When you left, you took your love away. What's the Eight of Cups? Like the best love this person could have ever received in their life. They walked away. It's a tower. Yep, it's a tower. It's a tower. It's a new cycle. This person's at a crossroads. And they're acting like a child about it. They're being childish. Being childish. Being stupid. It's like they're trying so hard to get a rise out of this person. They're breaking a sweat. All right, what is the Ten of Wands here for? What is this burden, feeling overwhelmed? Because this person's getting karma right now. That's exactly what's happening, and that's why they're stressed out. Um, they're gonna, ex if they're not already, they're going to experience the projecting that they were doing come back to them tenfold. And what I mean by that is they could have experiences where people around the street are just like randomly being assholes and putting them in danger or uh, making them panicked, or they start to get paranoid when they're in their house because some things around their home are starting to happen, or they, they could literally have paranormal activity being haunted in their house. Uh, it could go as far as um, their own family turning against them, or friends turning against them. Like, you know, the backfire can happen in any form, but it's going to hit this person where it hurts for what they did to another. Let's keep clarifying. That's why I don't get revenge, just request karma. You know? Ooh, why is the Empress showing up? Is it because, ha 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 ha. You see how that flipped over there? The high priestess flipped over here. Okay, so it may not be the person that was directly associated with this Queen of Wands energy here. There could be a dark high priestess and occultist, a practitioner that has taken special attention to this person, mainly because that individual from their past has drawn attention to them in some way, shape, or form. That has now got these people latching on to them in some way, shape, or form. This person went the wrong direction. They, they were unable to tap into their intuition, so they did not see any of this backfire coming. And this Queen of Wands did the whole time. Okay. Um, so what I want to pull now is from my custom created deck here. We're going to just see what falls out. I have not pre-shuffled this. So I'm going to shuffle them around right now. And then I will let you go. I promise. I promise. Okay. What is this Queen of Wands situation here about? Queen of Wands. I see something clearly now. Emotional crying, sadness, depressed, low energy. She's probably been feeling like that because of the projections. Yep, dark energy, shadow self. This person definitely, I'm telling you, like they were working. They wanted you to be um, unable to tap into your own way of, of healing. It's almost like with the star card coming up, popping out earlier, it's like you guys have found a way to heal. And it's like this person may have like picked up on the ways in which you're healing yourself and it's like they wanted to take that away from you so you didn't have access to it anymore they wanted you to be like crying and, and sad over them and upset and you're not and it's like 
Instead, you got up and you were like, all right, bitch, you want to fight? Let's fight. You're not crying. You've got Libra coming out here. You could either be a Libra sign. One of these energies could have Libra aspected in their chart. Or something significant could have happened between September 22nd and October 23rd. What else about this situation? Okay, we had a couple come out. We have the Divine Masculine showing up here. This could have literally been the Divine Masculine that was trying to create blockages, delays, stagnancy stuck in keeping you frozen. What, what was I just saying earlier about the stagnancy? We have Pisces coming out. Something significant could have happened between February 19th and March 20th, or you could have the sign of Pisces highly aspected in your chart or the other person's chart. We have, I don't know how to talk to you. Uh, this person doesn't know how to talk to you, so they freeze up, but they see how you're patient, you're brave, you have courage and great strength, and that is a quality that they are jealous and envious of. So it puts them in this in this energy of like, holy shit, she is so, he is so strong, she is so strong. And because of that strength, you're getting fulfillment, victory, healing, merriment, and solace. And you're going to be able to tap back into your light energy so you can use it for good. And then use it to uh, project yourself into a pathway in your own life. But this person, yeah, we have insecure, low self-esteem, lashing out this person is wallowing in their emotions about this situation right now but i feel like they're trying to hide it from people and it's not it's not as easy to hide as it used to be and so uh their outer shell is cracking people are starting to see their true colors and i feel like collective if you're resonating with being the person that they were sending projections to a lot of people could be on your side about the situation because they're starting to see, like I said, this person's shell crack and their true colors show through. And I feel like we all know why it's happening. They were either madly in love and just could not face it, or there was this um, repression of emotions that confused them and led them to lash out because they've never healed very specific parts of themselves that allows them to process it maturely um with that i will leave it here <laughs> if you watched all the way through again thank you so much for being here i appreciate your time and energy and i will see you at next one